Hi everybody, welcome to a new Banter Blitz session. In case you were just following or playing against Arjun Erigaisi, be prepared for a steep drop-off level. Not just chess-wise, but also talk-wise. I'm in a very cranky mood today. My name is Jan Gustafsson. Please challenge me to a lovely game of chess on good old Chess24. You click on play on Chess24, you end up in the new play zone here, and you look for my username, which is of course Tupac Shahur. I can't find myself, and don't fall for any of the imposters. I am a chess grandmaster, so you'll see the GM title, and my very, very intimidating rating of whatever it is. 2250. Um, so please do that. And then we'll play a lovely game of chess. You have to be a premium member to challenge me. You can become one and you can save 40% at checkout by using the code Yanistan, supporting the glorious nation of Yanistan in the process. We have one challenge. One challenge to rule them all. We'll play our boy Shadow Mate. Maybe someone could post the link how to challenge me in the Chess24 tweet. Sometimes we manage that, but not every time. In the meantime, we'll play Shadow Mate. What is this? What fresh hell is this? Bishop E2, A3. I'll bring the pieces out. How bad can that be? C4? It's an isolated pawn, sir. So aggressive. C4, B4. I like this square. Can I go there? Can anybody watch the show? Chat boys, are you out there? I'm not sure if the show started properly or not. Chat boys and girls, I should say, of course. Hmm. Let me fire up some chats. Rook C1. The more pieces you put on this diagonal, the more tempted I will get to eventually try to win some material here. I'll probably fail, but I shall try. Try. English is not my first language, so you will have to forgive me the occasional slip of the tongue, as we say in German. Hang on, is this the occasional hang of a piece, as we say in German as well? I have to take with the knight. Do you guys see why? I was playing queen c8, of course, but then knight takes d5 is surviving, surprisingly awkward. If bishop d2, knight takes e7, and if I recapture queen g5. So I have to take like this, which wasn't exactly my plan. But. <sighs> we, we notice just in time. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh, hang on, hang on. Bishop takes. Now I could take with the queen or the pawn. But with this bishop here, I think taking with the pawn is fine. I have some potential. Great potential. Hmm. Should I take the knight? Maybe I should just take it, no? Just going for good knight against bad bishop. If F E, I can head towards this square. 
and after queen takes what's going here no particular hurry now just bring the pieces into play rook c8 knight e4 and eventually there should be targets queen b3 is attacking this pawn so i'll, I'll have to jump b5 makes sense he's trying to activate the bishop but even on a3 it's not the scariest bishop mankind has ever seen. Make a little luft. Now we get ready for action. He wants to go bishop a3 and give a check here. But that check is not exactly going to kill me. So I shall allow it. What's happening in the world out there? Any chess drama updates? We cover chess drama on today's podcast episode of the famed Chicken Chess Club. But Peter Heine is still not, he's not leaking. The White King is leaking. Are you guys familiar with the term? Now let's go for checkmate. I was going to go for a double shot with 92. But I shouldn't be too fancy. Thanks for the game, Shadow Mate. Who else is here? The regulars that don't that do know how to challenge. In our little chess club here. Was a Blitz Wizard 94. <clears throat> e3, very aggressive. Someone gave this a name, no? Like people are now saying, hey. Do you know the Vamp the Crowd opening or something? Never heard of it. E3 can't be too terrible. Like any half sensible first move, you're not worse. Mm. E3 arguably is probably fine. You know? If the D5 you can play this Knight of 3, C4, B3 system they all play. If the E5 you can play D4 or C4. No, E3, I mean, it gives Black more options than he deserves, but it's probably not. The worst idea in the world. What is this system? What does Blitz Wizard want from us? They want e4. Yeah, no, he wants. <laughs> what do I want? In the old days, you would have been fired from any Pioneer's Palace for playing b5. But it's 2022. Still a terrible move, but there are fewer pioneers palaces. It is still a terrible move. The problem is e5, and my position is not very good. Wow, even recaptures. That's disrespectful. Probably a decent move. Where does he take there? Sir. You're still a piece down, sir. Maybe he miscounted and thought he's no longer a piece down. This looks a little, a little much. Could have taken the bishop. He is playing very quickly, though. As wizards do, they're impatient people. Like even this guy Gandalf, he could never stay in one place for more than like half a day, right? And then he would ride a 
<clears throat> right away and say, yeah, you know, I might be back in five days, but don't make me hang out here and fight your silly, silly war with you. Let me go on a quest. At least that's my understanding of wizards. Weird flex. Makes no sense whatsoever. <clears throat> Wasn't a misclick or anything either. Just gave up the night. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. <laughs> I have nothing to say for myself. I played knight c5, he took. I did realize taking the knight was legal. I didn't misclick. I could have taken on d4. Sometimes it's hard to explain the things we do. I'm very distracted today. I'll still win, don't you worry. I guess you weren't that worried about that. <laughs> but it is somewhat perplexing what I did there. Maybe I won't win. Doesn't look like I'll win. I'm playing so badly. <laughs> that was one of the better positions I've blown in my long prestigious chess career. <clears throat> Oh, Queen E7. Wow. Queen E7, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That was shocking. Anyway, good game. Blitz Wizard 94. Oof. Good game. Um, well played by, by, I think, both of us. I think this could have gone either way. But... Oof, I need a little breather after that one. Let's, let's continue. The high level. By <laughs> playing Bogdan Girmasea. I should have anticipated Queen E7 at least. Mm. So I had three pieces for a Rook. I hung one of them in one move for really no reason. Then I was still winning. Then I think I more or less hung another one. I let my time run out. Then he hung his queen in one move. But I expertly pre-moved not to take his queen. And instead hanging my queen. It was a good game. I think we all learned a few valuable lessons. Like don't play chess horribly. Um, and I think that's all we can ask for in Banter Blitz. To... You know, be given a little food for thought. <clears throat> Oof, would be tremendous honor if Agat Mator covered that game. I think, yeah, I don't know if it 
we can call it a modern classic or an instant classic blitz game of the century. It's also not for me to decide these things. It's for the history books. I think there's a new book. The what is it? The greatest chess games of all time? Most exciting chess games of all time? Something chess games all time? I understand we might be late for this edition, but maybe the next edition. Blitz Wizard saying, I played badly and there were some opportunities, but yeah, we both blundered. I think these things are part of the struggle. And sometimes it's what makes the beauty of the game. Human error without human error. Do you guys want to see Stockfish versus Leela? I guess, yes. A lot of people are watching that. <clears throat> Do you want to see chess being played half decently? Probably. But aren't we all here for the drama? Not sure how it is for you, but of course I live on Reddit chess. And I had the I had the feeling, I haven't done the math, but the feeling it was somewhat busier during the Carlson Niemann drama than usual. No, it's not like people are saying, Wow, Mamed Yarov, did you see this idea? He played D4, C4, and then later he played G4. Sometimes I think we might all be lying to ourselves when we say what we want is the chess. We don't want the chess. We want we want conflict. And here I'm trying to create some conflict by putting my horsey here. Live it thrown, I disagree. With both of your takes, I would guess. People do cheat online. Also good players. They shouldn't. But it does happen. And maybe the one good thing that will come out of all this is that Online cheating will no be considered, no longer be considered by some to be a. Eh. It's just online. <clears throat> but it's been around forever. I don't think it's gonna gonna go away anytime soon. The question is if we can draw conclusions from online cheating to potential over the board cheating i think no personally but people do cheat online <clears throat> hang on i can take no Horsey, I swear I spotted that all by myself. When do they play? Carlson and Hans, they play on on Monday, right? That should be fun. Give me that. Still not that clear. Yeah, this pawn is somewhat annoying.
For the flex. Oh no. Maybe I should stop doing things for the flex. Check. It's fighting. Is this a 3 plus 2 game? Ah, it's 3 plus 2. I keep falling for that. I thought the game was over when he was down to whatever he was down to. That's 3 plus 2, and now he's gonna queen his pawn. And I look silly. Is that what we want? I guess. It's very upsetting. We should forbid 3 plus 2 challenges. No one wants that stuff. Ooh, do I have to think again? Can't take. You're probably wondering if I blundered that bishop or if I expertly calculated that. Um, I won't tell you. <laughs> Could be either. Thanks for the game, Bogdan. Marsalka. A take. Balash is saying, it's funny we can see Jan choosing opponents from his list. It's full transparency here. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember whom I haven't played yet, but I'm not great at it. <clears throat> Transparency is my middle name. What's this line? Can I go C3 here? So I could go B5, I guess, no? 95, 95. Usually when you go b5 in such, such positions, there's some trick, but I don't see it. Which doesn't mean there's no such trick, it just means I don't see it. No, I guess I'll take. Let's probably take with a knight, because if bishop takes, bishop b7, should be doing fine. At least I don't like, because now my bishop is active, neutralizing his construction here. I can just develop and enjoy my extra pawn. Mm. What else is happening out there? Can anybody tell me why they keep making 15 move draws in the Russian individual championship? Is that a statement or what's going on there? Like, it's not like that's a normal, normal tournament behavior. So I was confused by that. Probably nobody knows. But check it like that. I think there was one decisive game and basically all the 
quote unquote heavyweight encounters and or in 50 move draws it's very confusing and it's never been like that we don't know do we SA17 I would guess it's some but I don't know some sort of protest against something but I'm I'm very confused by it Masalka playing a good game by the way. 1467. I was hoping you'd hang some pieces. But no pieces hung. Give me some pieces, Masalka. SA seventeen. Ah you meant Peter Heine is the Russian expert. Yeah, but he's more focused on the <clears throat> who took pictures with whom Engel he's not so much into the what reasons do the players have for doing anything Engel so I'm not sure we can get a lot of info there but I can ask Run, little Ponzi's. It's a Ponzi scheme. That's what I like about grabbing a pawn on the cattle. And if things go well later, you pawn up. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks for the game, Masalka. Let's play this guy. Ah, it's 3 plus 2 again? Come on. What's the point of this? Showing who the better chess player is? No one wants to find out. We just want a flag. Anyway. Is he not here? Has this... Uh, does this non-shining light mean it's not around? I guess that's what it means, no? Alright. What else do I have? What about this guy? Green light. Green lantern. 5 plus 0, proper time control. Here we go. I'm not sure of taking directly is the way to go but I'm inflicting him with his weak pawn I think it's not as stupid as it might look not sure how stupid it looks probably looks mildly stupid castles I'm not so sure about maybe it's more prudent to play a move like d3 first because now after e4 there's some counterplay but on the plus side if I survive his onslaught. Should I play d3, e4 or no? Maybe I should. I'll have a strategic advantage. Maybe I should wait a move for f5 and then take. Is that cunning? I am a cunning trickster. Usually tricking myself in the process.
Problem was rook c2, I thought, f5, knight takes d5, but then he has e4, d, e, c, d5. And I wasn't that thrilled about it. Knight on the rim. But it has some potential good squares. It might, might end up on, I'm not sure. This was also sensible. Jump. Jump around. Just to show how modern I am. I'll go h4. Time to bring the bishop. g6 looks a little weakening, does it not? Queen z? Potential trouble, I would say. H5 is there. Maybe I'll go here first just to, to mobilize fully. Then we can continue asking questions. Other than that, not much to say. I was doing commentary with Rustam on the Sinkerfield Cup, which yeah was was fun with was fun to talk to Rustam, but it was of course very weird um covering the tournament with when the real question anybody had on their mind was of course What's the latest chess drama? Um and no one was understandably that concerned, I think, with the outcome of the games. I mean, if you look at any online <laughs> debate, then it's it's clear what was on people's mind, which is very understandable. But it was a yeah, it was just just a weird situation for everybody. Other than that. Not that much to report. I'm watching the Rings of Power. I have strong theories about what's his name? Hal Brandt and about the stranger. But I'm not sure I can share them because I don't want to spoil your enjoyment. That's the last thing I want to do. Will I win this against Magnus? Yeah, two pawns up. This I would win.
PLO21. Call to the call to the game. Thank you, PLO21. X player does not ring a bell. X player, what's up? It's time for the Alakine. The best chess opening mankind has ever invented. You just force the pawns forward and then these pawns crush you. Um, knight f3 is also a good move. It's not as lethal as c4 followed by f4. But it's also pretty good. I think the only hope is some cheapos like c4 knight before. Of castles I go knight d7 and argue my position is not too terrible. The Rustam Fabi drama is all we want to know. I don't know much about that. To me? They always looked on great terms. Happily bantering away. In breakfast rooms. Of nice hotels. Where Fabi would play chess tournaments. Held by Rustam. That's all I know. Any Thailand opens this year? Just one. October 22 to 30. I'll be there. Doesn't make sense to go here. Guess the problem is I don't have anything better than a move repetition after knight c3, knight c2, rook b1, knight b4, rook a1. So I shall play this somewhat inferior position instead. No, Rusam didn't say Fabi was the great Gatsby. He said he was like the Henderson couple, the neighbors who, in times of trouble, retreat into their wealth, their money, their power. I think that's what he said. I'm assuming that was a compliment. I can't quite remember. I did read the book, believe it or not. Um can't quite remember. I don't think they were the heroes of the story, but I'll look it up eventually. I didn't watch Sandman. Also, the comics don't ring a bell. So is, is that for me? Livid Throne is saying, what happened to the announcement? Oh, was it yesterday? I don't know. I've heard literally hundreds of Lawrence Trent pre-announcement announcements. And I don't know. I'm, I'm used to them. I'm also <laughs> used to not, there not being an announcement after that. Or sometimes the announcement is, I now accept new students. I still have a few spots left. Something like that. He's a gifted, gifted salesman, but I've I've never really um, checked. Is it out there? Sandman is very interesting and good. Mm, that sounds good. Not just good, but interesting and good. Not the boring good stuff. Maybe I should check it out then. Do you remember Grendel and Marge comics? No, and by I don't remember, I mean I've never heard of them. Should I take? I guess I should take. Not sure. It's 
It's not the prettiest position I've ever seen. What can you do? I'm too young for Sandman. My usual problem. At some point he should checkmate me here. Not sure if he wants to, but he should. So my pieces are on the other side, which is usually not a good not a good sign. Wow, he does! I kind of was hoping he wouldn't checkmate me. But kudos to X player. He does go for the attack. And taking here just look completely hopeless. And queen takes and rook comes. So I will try to weather the storm here. I think instead of bishop e3, I should just go, go, have gone rook e3 anyway. Yeah, probably. It would not have ended well for me. What can you do? Say 17 has to watch it because his wife loves it. Mm. Yeah, the attack didn't last that long. He shouldn't have retreated. Should have been greedier. Here after knight h7, this really. Looked somewhat scary. Anyway, here we are. What should I do? I'm playing very cluelessly. Sometimes a weakness of mine. The cluelessness. Also, he shouldn't have gone queen e2, because had he waited for a move, I would have played rook d5, and he could have trapped my queen with rook to, d, rook to b4. Well, now I'm not given that chance to blunder. Should I think about some plan of stuff to do? I really want to. Okay, maybe. Maybe a horsey somewhere. Now have six look more normal, but then he can pin me. Wasn't a fan. Run, horsey. Do you say run? about knights or do you use a different term like I don't know jump sounds silly fly fly you fool position is still drawn I, I would expect to win somehow because I have more rating but I don't know how Deep thought by X player. Give the pawn. Why don't you attack my pawn? I'll take the pawn. Not with the rook. With a horsey. No backsies. H4 looks good, or I don't know, it looks like a good move somehow. Usually H4 looks smart in these defensive situations. What am I supposed to do? No clue. Guess. Push my pawn.
maybe this, maybe this, forward. Am I getting checkmated here? I, I am capable of going like g6, king h3, followed by a rook h7 checkmate. If I was him, I'd go king h3 and pre-move rook h7 just. But I probably would have spotted it and gone king h6. Anyway, thanks for the game. There was an unnecessary defeat X player. The end game was drawn, of course, and I would be very, very surprised if you weren't completely winning somewhere around here. After knight h7, there has to be something direct. Rook e4, rook e3. Bishop g7. The king is too lonely. Anyway, good game. Let's play one more. And by one more, I mean a few more. Any new faces here? I think it's... This is a name we have not seen yet. In our little program here. I'm not wearing any focus pants. I'm <clears throat> I'm in a very weird what do you millennials call it? Hat space today. So what can we talk about? Rings of power? Good stuff, no? Episode three I thought was proper good. I don't trust that Halbrand guy. Do not trust him. Other than that, I think that's that's all all I get. Looks beautiful, no? Um, I'm not an expert on like what TV shows cost, but it seems that they probably spent like thousands of dollars on it, no? Akashine, you're not here, are you? I haven't seen um, House of the Dragon because I thought that a veterinarian medical doctor is not really the kind of show. I need. I'm more into like a fantasy epos, like with betrayals and murders and stuff like that. Uh, all right, let's play Atmos Carlson. Jesse James agrees that it must be in the thousands that TV show. Yeah, it really does look gorgeous. Another hot take, or it's not that hot to take, I would guess. Most people agree. Harfoots, eh, eh. Also, full disclosure, when I rewatch Lord of the Rings, in parts two and three, I fast forward whenever Frodo and Sam are. I don't know what they're doing, crawling through some mountains um, once in a while, fighting with Gollum or saying, um, I can carry it for you, Mr. Frodo, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what food tastes anymore. You just fast forward this time. <laughs> House of the Dragon is a Game of Thrones show. You love it. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's based on Dr. House MD, but he's turned into... Becoming a veterinarian, so he cures all kinds of Komodo dragons. It's usually not lupus. <clears throat> so I think your information is wrong there. Bishop e7 play. Should I go e5? Maybe queen e2. Who knows?
threatened checkmate. I spotted it. F5 without thinking. For a second. Boom. F5. Alle. Do I like? Nope. I don't know much about it. By not much, I mean nothing. It's the new Jordan Peele movie. I've heard, I've seen some good reviews, I think. But I really don't have any clue. I didn't, I didn't watch what's called Us. Hmm. looks like a good position for me no I don't, I don't mean to brag but it does look like a good position I don't mean to brag it's checkmate um so no I haven't I have watched nope I haven't watched us I did love get out um, I'll catch up eventually. Iced Mokka is saying, you know what was an amazing German show? Dark. Dark is probably the most brilliant show I've ever seen. We can't do a dark rant every episode. Don't like it. Always raining. Every character is at least a little suspect. We can't really trust anybody. There's not a whole joke. The whole show, there's this mysterious, weird power plant nearby. You don't really know. People aren't really who they say they are. And then in return, we get a meticulously crafted time travel logic with lots of dark family secrets. Like it's, it's living up to every cliche about Germans you could think of. So it was very cringe for me to watch. I've seen the first season, but I couldn't hang in there. Uh. Moasta is saying, what means banter? I do not have any idea. I guess I'm supposed to say stuff while playing. But what? There's like five or six things I know. I must have said that in the previous 500 episodes of Banter Blitz. So at this point, I'm really not sure what we're doing here. But at least it does look. Like the audience agrees. Um, say Frodo? Frodo. Did I play against Aslan on the show already? No, I didn't, right? It's very hard for me to keep track. Come on, make a move, sir. Will we still keep Bantablitz after the Monopoly takeover? Now can we can we start streaming Monopoly? I'm excellent at Monopoly. Is that is that German thing? It's probably a German thing, right? Do you guys know the board game Monopoly? Probably a German thing. Monopoly spielen. Nicht über losgehen. Hihi. <laughs> ah, it's not just German? Ah, right. Always felt like a German thing. Because we're trying to teach our kids to become capitalist monsters at an early age. Vegan Organic is saying, come on, Jan, you know what I meant. I did know what you meant. I don't know anything about the future or the present, actually. But isn't that, isn't that exciting? Doesn't that make us feel alive? I don't feel that alive today, but that's, that's different circumstances. Let's play. Ugh, all these three plus ones. Okay, whatever. Did I play against this guy already? I can't remember anything. 
Goodman Q. Oh yeah, that was last week. He played he played the Magnus Carlsen Hans Niemann variation. That was good man. Okay, today I'll play better. Be warned. Let's play. Like it's nineteen ninety two. Queen B three. Bring the bishop. Those were the days. G6. It's legal. I would take this guy if I got the chance. Doesn't want to give it up. Never going to give. You up, bring you down. Hmm. Should I go here? I have a feeling I should try to keep some piece on the board. He can try to get rid of some, but generally, when we have space, we should keep pieces. It's what they told me. B5 looks like a good move. I have to admit. Because I don't have time for bishop f4. Which I very much wanted to play. It's a little sad. But here we are. I have to live with it. Hmm. You go e5. Do you? He wants c5, but is c5? C5 is not really anything to worry about yet. So maybe I can bring the horse here. <clears throat> How long should I provoke c5? I would guess this type of position is a little better for white, but I'm not that sure, frankly. My pieces are somewhat strange. Maybe it's not as great as I thought. He's in time with knight b6 and knight c4 or something. Queen c4 is also legal. Mm. This guy is just too strong for me. Let's face it. Dude, too strong. Can I take here? B C take here. Maybe a C B then. Uh, but C B I can go somewhere here. Yeah? Maybe not. Okay, that's one out. Mm -hmm. It doesn't think. It just is way too strong. All of this obvious to you? It's impressive. G6. 
Just crush me every week, this guy. No, it's dead lost again. No, way too strong. Way too strong. Hmm. Let's play Kasparov then. Chess, chess does speak for itself. Um, Kasparov fan, are you there? Playing the triangle. I'll play the the double fianchetto, which in the business is also called the long tongue, because both bishops have tremendous reach. I don't know how many exchange Slav structures I can handle in one day. So I'll I'll try to play differently this time around. You can't always take on d5. It's a strange day, Ferry Porter Senior. I am very, very cranky. C5 looks good. <laughs> no further thoughts, Your Honor. Well played, sir. Um, what did I do? B4? Maybe bring the queen somewhere? I don't know. Chess is way too hard at this point. He does have D4. Bishop takes, takes here. So after d4, I guess I would have had to jump. Go to rook b8. I'm assuming that's to prepare d4. Wasn't really necessary. Not sure which rook. Maybe the other rook was more normal. But now after d4, I also at least could think about jumping here. Trying to hit some weaknesses. Mm. A5. That looks wrong, sir. Not sure what the best course of action is. Takes a knight c4, doesn't look bad. That's a 3 plus 0 game. Maybe I should make a move every now and then. Homeless saw an old team photo. Which team were we on? Breda? Appledorn? I spent years in Appledorn. <clears throat> Always had a good time. We've had a lot of trainings in Karl van Delft's house. Yusupov, Dvoretsky, Afek. At some point I think we got 
No, we didn't get kicked out, but we started staying at, at Freddy van der Elburgs. No, I, I was in Apeldoorn for a long, long time. That's been a while. 20 years ago? 25? Time goes by. Hard to believe. But I might have started playing that 25 years ago. Anyway, I'm old, is what I'm trying to say. But I'm a pawn up against Kasparov fan. Can I take? I could, but I'd probably hang something in the pro in the process. Do I have advice for amateur players on how to study games of pro players? With wording, first of all. But I guess that's not what you want advice on. I don't know. I just click through them on my phone. That's what I would recommend. You don't even need a pro phone. Like I just have the amateur iPhone. But seriously, I'm not quite sure what you mean in general. Everyone's different. Everyone studies differently. If you want to set up a board and go through some nice games from a book, then I'm sure it's beneficial. Most people don't have the, the patience for it, me included. So I just used to read books, or now I click through games on my phone. But to each their own. So long story short, I don't know anything. Just look at as much chess as you can, and then maybe your head will put it together properly. Oopa. Let's play more chess games. Do I support Bayern or am I a Dortmund fan? I'm not a big chess guy in general. <laughs> Freudian slip. <laughs> not a big football guy in general. But I don't support Bayern. I'm from the north of Germany. You grow up with a very strong anti-Bayern Munich bias. Vanya Land, Fiedemaster. A3, so aggressive. So aggressive. What can man do against such relentless attack? What theory here? I guess queen a5 is normal, b6. I think they play b6. Let's get Vanya out of book, shall we? Not sure this would shock him. But I think b6 is the move, so this will make him think for half a second. It's not too bad. Is this all, all in your book? Like, the amount of time people spend on studying crappy lines. It's uh, keeps surprising me. And hitting me. I guess I shouldn't recapture because of rook c1. Although I wasn't too sure. Now we take as many pawnsies as we can get, no? If at first we don't succeed, we dust ourselves off and try again. Queen c2. I was only expecting the rook. No, if I take, 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 am I better there? I guess I'm better there. 
this is the most prudent way to play. Not better if he gets his pieces out, but if he doesn't. Time to speed up a little bit. Yeah, won't be easy to win. Yep, it's very boring. Hmm. Good game, Vanya Land. Um, yeah, what to say? I don't know. The opening position was interesting. Probably deserves further study. And by further, I mean any study. I know that instead of castles, B6 is the move, and black's supposed to be fine, but I was trying to. To mix it, I've never looked at this. It's probably probably nonsense as usual. Anyway, thanks for the game. We will play one more, and then I don't know what to do. There's always Zama House that stars. Other than that, any recommendations on how to to live our lives? The Gioco Pianissimo, king of all chess openings. They recently started experimenting with all kinds of very early rookie ones here. Begging for knight g4. It scares me. Also, Ken Adams 27. I'm not buying the 1500 for a second. He just hasn't played much yet on this beautiful site. 
Knight bd2, this is a weird thing. Um, you're sort of allowing knight a5. Well, usually people go a4 or bishop b3 to keep this bishop alive. But I've seen some ex experiments connected to allowing that in recent years. Not sure if there's much to it, frankly. Bishop e6. He ignores all my move order subtleties. Just goes for this structure, which is, of course, legal. I would thought white should be a little better in this type of structure, but we're just getting started. d5, so direct. Not sure. Do I need queen c2? I'd rather not put the queen on c2 because it's abandoning these squares a little bit. I'm struggling to calculate queen e2, d, e, d, e, knight e4, and then some move. That should be okay. No? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, my timing was a little off. Also, why is everybody playing like a world champion nowadays? Because um, in general, you want to have the pawn on a4 already and then be able to meet d4 with b5 so that the, his structure gets a little shakier. But once again, I feel very outmatched here. Queen f7 covering c7, so after a4, he can go dc. stuff by Ken Adams 27. You're thinking though. Take your time, sir. H5 I could take here if I wanted to. Do I want to? Go ninety four. This looks more prudent. Maybe no way four. Time to speed up a little bit. Looks like I made some progress here. Ken Adams is now under pressure. Both on the board and on the clock. Whew. That escalated quickly. Thank you for the game, Mr. Ken Adams. Um, I guess 
that's it for today. Did you give me any advice on on what to watch on TV or how to spend my life like uh, either of those? You guys are not covering Chess 960. I wasn't going to. No, I'm not sure. Do we have the moves? Does it work with the live PGNs? I would guess you find it on the on the website, but frankly, I do not know. Either way, thanks thanks for hanging out. Sorry for my very cranky mood. I will explain. Eventually. Um, chat doesn't have any advice on what to do with life. Chat, think more about the big existential problems we're all facing before the next show. Because we all need help. You should watch the documentary. I think we're alone now. That sounds creepy. But maybe I will. I just sit still and think about the abyss. That doesn't sound bad. How is the new episode of podcast? It's excellent. The Chicken Chess Club podcast keeps getting better, which many critics have said. That's impossible. It's already so transparent. So humorous. So accent-free. How could it get any better? But apparently the level keeps rising. And I think they find a fantastic balance between covering what's happening in the chess world and mixing it with their personal opinions, anecdotes, flavor. It's highly enjoyable. All right, guys, this was Banter Blitz. It's been a great pleasure to partake in the next one. Go premium, use voucher code Yanistan, and you will have the honor of beating this old man while listening to his incoherent ramblings. Until then. <laughs>